another match day on a Friday night this time, Friday night football. Zenit versus Nizhny Novgorod. And Nizhny Novgorod are currently around 12th in the table. And Zenit have the chance as well to extend the lead at the top of the table to six points. Hopefully with a win today. And it should be okay and a comprehensive victory, but we'll see what happens in the yeah, let's go, Davai. Another fun fact about Russia as well, mobile data is so cheap. So none of that 20 pound a month unlimited, 25 pound a month unlimited. You can get unlimited data for about 400, 500, 600 rubles, which is about four, five, six pound. And uh, yeah, I need to refill now at B-Line because I'm out. So first stop B-Line, second stop Gazprom Arena. So yeah, let's go. So went to top up. I had no money three times, but the lady was so kind. And I topped up 200 rubles. That's two pounds. Oh, I'm really broke out here. But yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. On to Zenit anyway. Chronicles of the Metro. The escalator takes at least three and a half minutes to get down. This game's also confirmed as and known as like the Kurzakov derby, so it's quite friendly because obviously Alexander Kurzakov, the former Zenit striker who achieved great things with the club, obviously, is the manager of Nizhny Novgorod. And whilst Alexander Kurzakov is the manager of Nizhny Novgorod, his brother is the goalkeeper of Zenit. So it's like a family feud, basically. Well, so coming in again, a little few problems with the vaccine, COVID vaccine and issues, because they're saying that this Pfizer one wasn't really initially accepted. But then I had to speak to someone else and it's an issue because obviously the things going on in Belarus, in Ukraine, having an effect on it and EU relations obviously with Russia getting more. Uh, it's a geopolitical mess at the moment, but I just hope my season ticket isn't nulled or voided after because of the vaccine situation. But yeah, added to that, the situation in Russia is getting a bit more tense, especially um, getting accepted into places like the gym that I signed up for uh, is not allowed me to enter due to my vaccine being Pfizer and not recognized in Russia because they only expect the Sputnik one and Sputnik Light. My university has tried to amend things and see what they say, but at the moment it seems quite bleak. And as mentioned, if uh, relations between the Russians and, um, and also the Polish, but the EU as well, can't strengthen between the Western powers and I don't know, it just seems like it'll get tougher, but we're here and football is an escape from the politics and the world. And for 90 minutes, I can feel free. But Davai, let's go. Come on, let's go. Two one. 
He's been knocked off with the goal. First chance. First shot on target, first goal. Yeah, good header. No keeper in the goal. Playing basic. Yeah. A tough task for this knee. Just got harder. They're sending off for Petrus Umao. The CDM. He's had a decent game. Just looked a bit rash. Two stupid yellows. And in the 42nd minute, he sent off. So, a tough task. It's even tougher now for this knee. And there's a goal! So it's half time, 3 1 at the break. And since it's sending off and the goal, it looks out big. And it's just a question of how many is any can score today. But yes, it's good hard. And four sending off for the catches from all. Another goal. Adam Silva has it now. He's got the goal to make it free. Malcolm assist. Unselfish on the counter. Good goal. And yes, it's cold. Had to zip up a hole in the game. 4 1 now. The game's done. It's finished. Silva has it. That guy. And also a Malcolm goal. But the red card in the 43rd minute changed the game. Umal got sent off. And it changed the dynamics totally. And it's never going to be. It was always a one sided game anyway. But that made it made it far worse. Far easier for the Zenit lads to go out and get the victory. Which they did to make it 5 1. So, yeah, it's a good day for Zenit. Champions League match day against Malmo away. Hopefully, it can just be a straightforward victory again. First match was 4 0, but yeah, we'll see what happens. And then CSK away. So, it's a bit of time away from the Gazprom, but it should be fine. We should get some victories. Bye bye.